everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be unboxing the My Garden Box for May 2019. My Garden Box is a monthly garden slash plant subscription where they send you a little garden project and plants. Now from what I've seen, you do not need to have a house with a garden to do this. You can live in an apartment, you don't have to have outside land to do this. It is like $34, $35 a month plus shipping, and after shipping, it's about 50. So just ignore the 30 something, you'd be paying about 50 a month for this subscription. If you sign up for like three, six month subscriptions, it's a little bit cheaper. But basically it's like a little project. So I'm really excited to open this and try this out because it's a project and that sounds fun to me. Um, so this is through CrateJoy and I will leave a link down below where you can sign up for this box. But I also partnered with CrateJoy in this video and they have a giveaway going on. It is open from May 14th through May 31st. If you follow the link down below in my description and I'll put it separate from the actual My Garden Box link, there are 10 different subscription boxes. And if you leave a review for one of those subscription boxes, if you get that box, you'll be entered to win a free subscription box from the Crate Joy website if you do that. And if you um, leave a review with a photo, it counts as a second entry. So I know that there are boxes on there like Cause Box, Fab Fit Fun, the Pasheen Box, Erin Condren. That's just a few of the 10. So go out there, see if you get the box, and go ahead and just leave a review because you get a chance to win a free box from Crate Joy. Again, that is open from the 14th of May to the 31st, and they said they'll be announcing the winner sometime in June. So I'll leave that down below. But now we're really here about my garden box. So what I'm going to do, this is a pretty big box, and I'm um, the shipping fee is big because of that and you have plants so they're trying to get it to you quickly so what i'm going to do is open it up and show you what's in it and then i'm actually going to do the project with you i thought that'd be kind of fun so let's go ahead and open it up i did kind of peek just a little bit so when you open it up this is what it looks like on top is the envelope and you can kind of see some really pretty plants right there oh my goodness okay and i'm like knocking over my plants while i do it <laughs> who cares about those so this is the spring garden trio for my garden box so when you open it up, you have a little bit of paper. So first they have a little letter. So let me read that out. A true plant lover can't shake the need for plants all year long, but there is something undeniably special about the spring growing season and all that it brings to the warming world. For those with ample outdoor growing space, this is the season for filling beds with annuals or watching your perennials wake up to put on a performance that only mother nature herself could choreograph. Though there are countless types of gardens based on climate, culture, preference, and purpose, some concepts are almost universal in their application throughout the diverse range of garden types. In fact, diversity itself is one of the primary concepts to making a garden space more than the sum of its plants. Embracing the gamut of size, color, texture, and options adds the aesthetic punch that can patch, uh, make a patch of plants come alive. In large spaces, things can get somewhat complicated, but with this project, we've simplified the process by selecting a diverse yet complementary spring-loving plant from each of the following categories, blooming plants, foliage plants, and ornamental grasses. With the included trio of flora, we offer a sampling of some of our favorite characteristics and considerations for spring gardening and garden design in general. Enjoy the figurative fruits of this spring's selections and be inspired to look around your other growing spaces with an eye for design and hunger to cultivate. Happy planting, the My Garden Box family. So that's a letter. And then it talks about the trio. So little instructions, um, tips and techniques. Um, in the box, you have a blooming plant, foliage plant, ornamental grass plant, galvanized pots with tray, organic fertilizer, house blend soil, and plant labeling kit. Um, so we've planned, designed, and delivered this mini garden for you to plant and watch flourish. Below is a bit about the types of plants that we've chosen and some simple ways to keep those plants and the rest of your plant collection happy and healthy throughout the growing season. So it talks about blooming, foliage, ornamental grass, thinking like a plant, so encouraging bloom and deadheading, simple concepts for fertilizing, and handling growth by dividing and repotting. Okay, and then on the back, it talks about the potting instructions and the care. So in the end, this is kind of what we're going to be going for. So let me read a little bit here before we get into the actual project. Um, they were handpicked for your region, cool, and should thrive throughout a thoughtful consideration of the plant's preferences as listed on the color plant labels. While the preferences of each plant in the collection may vary, there is enough crossover to allow three varieties to happily within their preferred range of conditions. Um, the supplied container is intended to provide one good growing season until the plants want more space. Outdoor plants and containers generally benefit from more frequent pruning and watering, but thankfully 
Um, this collection will be a pleasure to observe and care for because of the diverse offerings in color and texture. So mixed soil and fertilizer, fill metal, metal containers, containers, excuse me, halfway. And then you remove the plastic pot and insert into the metal container. And then you fill the voids with the remaining soil, label plants, and locate. Um, recommended care. It says listen to your plants and learn their language. Um, this collection is oriented towards life outdoors. Consider each plant's preferences, but know that these plants were bred and cultivated to shine in the garden. Um, follow the plant label recommendations, but err on the side of less light until you find a spot that you are happy. Too much light and too little water can cause browning and curling and leaf tips. And keep a close watch on your plants for water as they um, acclimate to their new home. Make sure they are getting the water they need without sitting for wet too long. Um, though these pots do not have drainage, they will allow the soil to dry quickly in the summer heat. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get the, well, let me kind of pull stuff out and then we'll get started on it. So let me see how this is packaged. So the first plant is this grassy plant here. I'm not going to take everything out yet. I haven't set up. I'm going to set up a little bag below me so that um, I don't get everything anywhere, everywhere. Then we have this pretty plant here. And then, ooh, okay. Then there is this plant. So let me go ahead and set up so that we can go ahead and get started on this project. All right, so I have relocated. Please ignore any mess you can see in the background. I've never filmed like this before. So and before I get started, my tip for anybody who is gonna do gardening and they don't really have a good outdoor space, I currently live in the city. I have below me just a regular black large trash bag. I cut off just the like the bottom seam and then just cut up the long ways this way and I've just opened it out like here. That way any dirt that comes on here, I can just wrap it up and throw it away afterwards. So we have my plants. So let's go ahead and start by taking them out of this protective stuff here. So this is the first plant. Oops, and I'm trying to, well, a lot of the stuff is not in the camera. So there's that one. I might have to modify my filming location if I try to do this again, because I'm not so used to this. Okay, so this one had, so this is the Cheyenne Spirit, but this one didn't have a tag in it. So, okay, that's okay. Maybe it fell somewhere in the box. And then this last one here has a tag as well. And this one is a Cajun Fire. So that's really pretty. So those, I only have tags for two, but I can probably figure out what that is. Um, so let me move this over to the side. So then under this piece, there's some more stuff down there. Oh my God, there's a Werther's original. Calm down. Okay, so there's a little baggie here. And then we have the plant pot holders there. Got my scissors. And this is a fake plant, by the way. I haven't showed this fake plant. I have some fake plants just because if I kill a plant, then it still looks green in my apartment. Shouldn't tell you that while I'm doing a gardening video, but you know, it, it is what it is. So let's pull this out. So this is the tray. Oh, it's giving me chalkboard effect here. And they're all a little bit separate and then you can plant each of them in there. So from the sounds of it, we, you will have to repot after a year, but we'll start with this. So then this bit, we have the little bag of soil and a little tiny pouch of fertilizer. And let's open what up what's in this little baggie. So there's the Werther's original. So yum. And the little sticker. Um, it says for the love of plants and my garden box on it. All right. And then it has three little um, marking things that you can put in there and a little pencil, I guess, to write on them. So that's cool. Did it say which one was for which? Yeah, so foliage, bloom, and grass. So this one's the foliage, this one is the bloom, and this one's the grass. So this is the foliage, oops. This one's the foliage, this one's the one that's gonna bloom, and then this one's the grass. I'm a little sad that I didn't get the little um, name tag with it, but I'll just have to like, do, if you're a plant person, what is this? <laughs> um, but it's fine, I'll figure it out. I'll do some Googling it later. So I think that that's everything in the box. So the box is not needed anymore. So now, what do they tell me about mixing soil? I'm just curious to see what they say. Mix the, okay, you just mix them together. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix them in the soil bag somehow. Smells like soil. All right, so I'm just gonna take this little bag of fertilizer. I'm probably gonna get my hands in there. And guess what? I did not bring like a napkin or anything to wipe my hands off in, but who needs that? 
All right, so I'm just gonna dump the fertilizer in the bag. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get down and dirty because that's just what gardening's all about, right? Oh, wow, that smells terrible. But that's what dirt is. Okay, so I feel like I've got that pretty well mixed up in there. So then it's telling me to fill the containers halfway. Is that gonna be accurate? I don't know if halfway is gonna be right. I'm gonna fill a little bit in the, the each of the pots. Um, let me take them out. I don't wanna get dirt all over the bottom of the tray, so I'm gonna take each of the pots out for a second. And I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it in the bottom. I'm not gonna put a whole lot because like I said, there's a lot of soil in that and if I need to add more, I can. I should probably move the Werther's original away from the bottom of the pot. And that one there. So I just put a little handful in each. That's about how full I filled it. It's not very much, but it says halfway, but like this has a lot of soil in it. So I don't wanna um, have the plant sticking out too much. So let's go ahead and take the first plant out, which is the bloom. So this is what the plant looks like all the way. And I'm just gonna loosen it out of the container just a little bit. And dump, that has a lot of good fertilizer in it. I'm gonna just kinda break up the roots just a little bit with my hands and stick it in. All right, this is messy. So probably shouldn't have done this in my living room. Normally I do this on my kitchen floor, but you know, for filming purposes, it's easier to film here. So I am now just filling in the rest of the little pockets with soil there, maybe a little bit more here. Now after this, I am gonna water them um, because they have been in transit for a while, but that is that one potted. So I'm gonna add that over to my tray. I don't think you can, well, you can kind of see the top of it. And that is this one. I'm just gonna stick it there for now. So now let's work on the Cajun fire. That was the Cheyenne spirit. And again, I don't know what the grass is, but that's fine. Maybe it didn't need a name tag. All right, so again, we already have it kind of, um, sorry, if I'm crouching and my head gets cut off, if I don't, my pot, and I think my face is like completely blown out. I will need to practice with this and my light, I'm realizing my filming light is facing that way. It's not facing on me, so that's great. I'm a professional. All right, so again, this is what it looks like here. Oh, these leaves don't look too happy right now, so we'll have to work on that. This plant looks like it really wants to fall out, so I need to be careful with this one because the plant is almost, the roots aren't. Uh, there we go. Again, loosen the roots just a little bit. I'm gonna be careful with this one just because the plant does look like it wants to about to fall out. So I wouldn't say fill it halfway because these already have a, a good amount of soil. You just judge. Um, I mean, I feel like half the people watching this already know what to do, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Um, this is more planty. So like that's my horty plant right there that I just got, and like I said, I did cancel that subscription just because I'm moving, but I also canceled it because of the subscription because I thought this one would be just different and a little bit fun because it's more of a project. Like, not that you don't repot that one, but I'm nervous about this guy. He doesn't really want to stand. All right, I may have to take some soil out of the bottom and, and kind of work on it because it's kind of like wobbling here and it's making me a little nervous. But for now, that is the Cajun Fire. And then the next one is our little grass buddy. So let's go ahead and take him out. I hope this isn't boring. Like I'm just talking in gardening, um, but let me know if you like this. Like this is a little bit different than what I normally do. It can be a little bit more chatty. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy. And if, hey, if I'm doing things wrong or you have tips, let me know. Um, I'm totally open to that. Just be nice. <laughs> All right, so now we are kind of breaking the roots up just a little bit, not a whole lot. And we're gonna go ahead and add some more of this soil. Um, in on the sides, make sure it gets in there. Again, I will be watering these probably just after the video just because um, my sink is not right here. And there we go. I probably filled this one a little bit too much. And to be honest, I don't even know if I needed to really put the dirt in the bottom of some of these, but that is what my Mr. Grass looks like. That's his name because I don't have the real name. All right, so, oops. This is kind of what it looks like right now, which is really cute. I'm really excited about that. But we also have the name tags. And I still have soil left over, That's which is actually pretty awesome because one of my plants needs more soil right now and I just haven't had the chance to go out and buy some. So now we have these little things that we're supposed to be writing on. So it looks like the bloom, 
Now the foliage is the orange one, not that it matters, but I'm just gonna follow what they do. So I'm just gonna type on here, holy edge. Oh good, my handwriting isn't good right now. Are you one of those people like me where like, you can have really pretty handwriting, but it's not happening right now. <laughs> can you even see that? Probably not, I don't even know. Um, so that's foliage. I didn't do it in the order they did. Foliage, and then this one is Bloom. Oh my god. I did this one in all caps. Um, and I did that one not in all caps, so... I mean, I could erase it, it's pencil, but, you know, whatever. And then the last one is Grass. So I'll write that on there. I really did not put effort. I did this one in all caps too. Well, whatever. So this is what the little project, oops, looks like in the end. I thought that was super fun. Like, is it worth 50 bucks? I'm not sure, but I really had fun with that. And you get three different cool plants. Let me know what you think. I think I'm gonna try it for another month. Let me know what you think of the subscription. I'm, I'm really curious to hear what you have to say. I have a Werther's original to eat at the end of this. This is really fun. Um, again, the Crate Joy giveaway, if you want to get that free, um, subscription box or the free box, go ahead and leave a review between the 14th of May and the 31st of May on one of the boxes that are in that link. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.